everyone. Do you like my new setup? I'm just starting to learn Photoshop. I didn't, I missed some of the stuff over here with Christine's head, but I swear I'm going to get better. I love this idea. I actually saw um, another blogger, Tasha K, doing something like this, and I was like, that is so cute. And then I noticed other bloggers were doing it, and I was like, I have got to learn Photoshop. This is so much fun. Um, I'm trying to make better thumbnails, and I'm trying to improve this whole experience for you guys. And I just thought, the more interactive this stream, the better. Yay! Okay. So last week, there was a uh, bunch of stuff that happened um, on Sister Wives. And it was a messy, messy episode, okay? So it was Christmas, and Cody decides for the whole family that he is going to um, unveil his one house to the whole family. And he, he refers to it as my house, which is actually sort of... I would say pretty consistent with Cody's overall ego. Everything is mine. All the kids are his, all the wives are his, everything belongs to Cody. So on the episode, the, the wives had a lot of opinions, like a ton, a ton of opinions. And it was during the episode that Christine, this little lady, was really, really agitated, like super mad. And she was just like, I am not gonna live in one house, no. I am not open-minded. Our lives were terrible when we lived together. And Janelle's talking about how, um, you know, Christine used to live underneath and could hear this guy getting down and dirty with some of the other wives and it was just crazy back then. And um, one of my subscribers actually made a really good point that um, Christine might be ap apprehensive to move back into one house because Christine was tasked during that time to take care of all of Janelle's kids and she might be afraid that she will be in charge of all of the requirements because Janelle, my subscriber says, Janelle seems a little bit lazy to be a mommy. I don't know. Who knows? She just said in the on the show that she likes her autonomy. She wants more. Um, she likes being in charge of her own domain. She does not want to go back to the place that she once was and she's finally happy and, and likes who she is today. I think it's probably, she doesn't want to deal with it. She doesn't want to deal with the jealousy. She doesn't want to see him getting intimate with other people. Um, and that was another thing she brought up. You know, when she lived in a house with all the other women, she couldn't kiss him or she wanted to kiss him. She had to be secretive. Which again, why do people live like this if this is how you feel? Like if you can't handle your man and this is your choice doing these things, shouldn't you be able to handle it? I mean, if it's your choice and this is what you want, I don't get it. But anyways, I digress. Well, there was a lot of people making comments about how Christine was acting a little bit, a type of, a certain type of way, let's just say. And she said, my bratty reaction just makes me cringe. I said very logical things, but I'm not bad. I'm just edited that way. Um, and, you know, Cody had a lot to say on, his, on Twitter talking about how the kids so I don't know if it's the editing so much as I just wonder whether or not Christine is concerned about how she's being portrayed in the media because she doesn't want to have the same position as Mary. Mary has literally come to a place where her opinion doesn't matter. She hasn't said anything publicly about the houses. She hasn't made her opinion known to the other sister wives. Um, let me just turn off here. Okay, I'm going to open up chat. Sorry about that. I just had the members only chat on for the beginning part of the, before we went live. Okay, so they, um, maybe she doesn't want to be like Mary. Maybe she doesn't want to lose her position in the family. Another one of my subscribers actually made a really good point and said, they think there's only two wives that still have a relationship with Cody that is actually still is intimate. And they suggest that maybe Robin and Christine are the ones that are continuing that. And that because of that, maybe Christine doesn't want to be around it because Robin and Cody and uh, you know what I mean? I don't really know if there's any truth to that. I know that Cody and Mary have basically a friendship. That's about it. And I don't know where he stands at all with Janelle. But she doesn't want to live in the house and she's justifying that the editing made her look worse than she did. But I don't necessarily think the editing made her look any certain way. She was just being honest. 
And in this situation, there's times in, in reality TV where I'm like, yeah, the editing makes you look really bad. These were one-on-one -on -one interviews when she was asked how she felt and she was being authentic, she was being real, and she was being who she was. And my guess is that maybe things were brought up at home between her and Cody that made him feel like, why are you acting like that? Because it's, an, it's a blow to his ego if one of his ladies on national TV is like basically downplaying and saying that nothing, they're not going to do what he wants. And, you know, that makes me wonder what's going on because I don't think the editing actually made her look that bad. I think the editing made her look like a woman standing up for what she wants and a woman standing up for what she needs. And I think if she wants to live in her own house, she doesn't want to share it. She shouldn't have to. Okay. So, um, I just wanted to show you a couple things here. Cody actually said this. He said, our relationships are different than 15 years ago. The new house design is different than anything we have ever, have ever lived in. Um, still only half the wives have open minds. I didn't know our past was so hard. And he's actually kind of right here. This house, the way that it's designed, is actually designed almost as though it's in four, five separate homes. And he says that there would be blocks in between the houses. And so it would be basically soundproofed in between each wife's unit which means that it would be quite different than having, and it's all on one floor, so there wouldn't be hearing things in between walls and in between floors, and they would have more autonomy and more privacy according to what he says, and because they're gonna use like physical blocks to block out sound between the homes to provide the wives autonomy. With that being said, I would say with, you know, if is it that you just don't, if you're in your own domain, you don't really have to worry about whether or not you're being private, right? Because Cody's there and you can be in your kitchen and you can kiss him because you are in your specific home within the larger home, Christine. But I don't think Christine actually can see the larger context and it might be something even wider than that. Maybe she doesn't even want to share the same joined space that Cody has put together in this house. When I actually saw the house idea, I thought it was kind of neat. Listen, I'm not a fan of this like type of lifestyle, but I do think it's odd that if you're being one family, you're living in different houses. And if there are so many children together, I mean, having them all separated doesn't create a cohesive family experience. It rather creates four separate families. And that's why I said in my last stream that it's, he doesn't just have four wives and one family. He has four lot wives and four lives because as a unit, they only come together for like holidays and stuff, right? So it would be like no different than me and you going over to our Aunt Betty's house 30 miles away and being like, hey Betty, Merry Christmas, and then not seeing them again until Easter, right? So if they're not living together and they're not making a point of doing interactive family things, they're really no different than being an extended family and not a single family. Does that make sense? I just actually think if they want to be one big family, living in one house isn't that bad of an idea. And I'd have to say he actually put together a plan that kind of meets the needs of the different wives. And I hate that I'm actually defending Cody. Um, and then he actually was calling it my house. And he says, I was saying my house so everyone else would feel and take ownership. If it's mine, everybody has a share. I don't know about that. He always pretends to be like he's like so open minded. Robin had a lot of opinions. She just didn't like the fact that they were actually talking about the house on the over Christmas. And she said, for our family, Christmas can last for hours and hours and we have to take breaks and so, to, so we can get through everything. Um, I have no idea how I feel about the one house idea, but I know I don't want to have everyone freaking out and upset on Christmas. I can actually see the point. I can actually see the point of Cody though, because he says he had older kids there that were home for the holidays, so he wanted to show them. Although I would think that even though they were home for the holidays, they would have had time throughout that day um, or throughout that time for them to sit down when it wouldn't have been over the holidays because it did cause some consternation for this lady over here getting really upset and wanting to stay in the kitchen. This is just like when you have a family and you have like this many people, this is just a recipe for disaster. And the further away they 
I feel like the situation that the family is currently in right now, it creates a situation where they're all sort of living independently of one another and they're not actually like encouraging one another. They're not spending enough time together. So they become more and more autonomous of one another. And if that continues, the, the whole entire family culture, as they say, will be destroyed. So I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you think it's the editing in this case or do you think that she's actually just speaking her mind and being truthful for once? I don't think it's the editing, Christine. I think that's really how you feel. And if that's how you feel, I think it's fair to have those feelings. You shouldn't have to explain away your feelings because you're afraid of your husband's ego. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll be back in a little while. Bye.